What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video. And today, it is time that we discuss the 2024 Senate election in the great state of Arizona. as Because, guys, we got a pretty substantial development brewing in the state of Arizona. It relates to one of the biggest potential candidates that may run for the Senate seat next year. Carrie Lake. This article just came out, I believe, today. Carrie Lake was in Tucson, and she, and I quote, I'm actually eyeing the Senate race. It's something I'm considering. That's right, everybody. The former gubernatorial candidate may be running for the Senate election next year against Ruben Gallego and potentially Kirsten Cinema. Now, before we continue with today's video... I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, follow the Twitter accounts, follow the Rumble page, all that good stuff, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for $3 a month, now only one, you can join Real American. Just click the click the join button down below. If you click it, you can join the channel just for a dollar a month and support the daily content we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. All right, everybody. So we got a pretty substantial development happening in the state of Arizona. Kerry Lake. Former governor candidate Carrie Lake went to Tucson on Wednesday to promote her new book. Uh, yeah, just says promote her new book. <clears throat> she ran for Arizona governor in 2022, but Katie Hobbs was declared the winner. Now, we'll get into the legal stuff later because I that's for a different subject. Lake presented several legal challenges to the election outcome in court, though the lawsuits have continued to uphold the certified election results. She grew a large crowd to fire truck brewing on Grant to promote her new book, Unafraid. When asked, Le when asked Lake if she plans to run for U.S. Senate, well, we asked Lake, excuse me. She says she'll still she's still occupied with her legal challenge to the result of the governor's election, but is thinking of a run for the United States Senate. Quote, unquote, so we'll be making a decision on that in the next couple of months, and we'll see, end quote. Lake said, I'm actually eyeing the Senate race. It's something I'm considering. Lake did not answer a question about whether she aspires to run for vice president in the coming presidential election. So, yeah, you heard it here. Former gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake may actually run for the Senate seat. Y you know, this is one of the most controversial... <laughs> in my opinion, the most controversial Republican primary. Because you've really, it's a matter of who's going to run. It's not like, you know, Montana, we know for a fact it's going to be Shahi versus Rosendale. Hopefully Rosendale gets Trump's endorsement. But Arizona, it is a complete and total free fall. Of course, Mark Land, the Pinal County Sheriff, he's declared his candidacy. In my opinion, he is a okay recruit i mean people say he's too conservative and stuff but it's like mm, we just gotta see what happens how he runs his campaign he's still a bit unknown so he could still make his message and make his you know name out there but there's been a lot of discussion about who else will run uh, you know you doug do see that flopped karen taylor Robson, thank goodness i mean the people that still want her guys she supported Democrats. And I'm not talking about moderate Democrats. She supported full-blown progressive Democrats in the Phoenix city, city Council elections. And in these areas that are not necessarily the most Biden areas. Or like Biden plus 10. Or maybe like Biden plus 5. And she supported the, you know, wel welfare for immigrants last year. I mean, how can you say she, she's so eluctable? Why? Because she's got money? Because she's a woman? Why? Why? Why do people think she's so electable? Why? Because there's certain people that support her? Okay. 
But either way, Karen Taylor Robeson, thank goodness you're not running. Now, Andy Biggs, of course, is not going to run. But you do got a couple other ones that publicly express interest. TJ Shope, no way he's going to do anything. I mean, he's supporting impeachment for Republicans when they got a one-house seat majority. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Plessy sucks on the issues. There's nothing good about him. So, yeah, I, I think he's off the table. I don't think he has a serious shot. Uh, Jill Lamont, uh, no chance at all. Just go away. But there's three other candidates that have publicly expressed interest. Abe Hamaday, Carrie Lake, and of course my man, Blake Masters. Now, let me be 100% clear. I 100% support Masters. As many of you know, I've said this for a while, that it was just a little bad circumstance, bad roll of the dice with Blake Masters. I mean, people that say, oh my gosh, but you know, he got outspent by so much. You know why he got outspent by so much? McConnell did not spend a dime on him. But it's like the idea that he's a bad candidate because he got outspent. What? That was just due to circumstance and pure incompetence. Now, this time around, he has run for the Senate seat. So he's already got the donor list. He already has a significant donor list of many people. You know, many supporters now have been on his donor list now. And that should help Masters with getting fundraising. You know, I'm not saying it's 100% going to be fixed, but from everything I've heard, if Masters does, in fact, run for a Senate seat, he's already gotten the fundraising stuff sorted out beforehand because there was problems with McConnell and Peter Thiel being clowns behind the scenes. Well, more so McConnell, but... I got a different story for a different time. Either way, I think Blake Masters is our better option of the realistic candidates because, well, maybe I'll say uh, Abe Hamaday because, like, you know, I, I don't regret supporting you in 2022. I don't. Karen Taylor Robeson was a complete and total disaster. Basically a Democrat. That's the best way to describe her. But I'm just being 100% honest. I, I understand that what happened in 2022 was in most accounts, complete horseshit. I'm not going to deny there's a lot of bullshit when it comes to the incompetence of Maricopa County. I'm not even alleging anything. I'm just saying at best, this was pure incompetence with how they handled turnout. I mean, you had all the Republican areas. They had quote unquote higher than expected turnout, but they all ran out of votes at once. It's like, what? You're telling me that you tested this for weeks, but they suddenly crashed? It's like, what are you talking about? So there, I, have, I understand that part. But here's the thing. Katie Hobbs was a garbage candidate. Through and through was a complete and total trash candidate. Never campaigned, never did a debate, supporters didn't exist but i'm just saying that you know lake did make some blunders i'm not gonna just say oh she didn't make any mistakes i i think that was still a bad idea to go after the mccain people i'm not a fan of mccain no don't get me wrong but to tell mccain voters we don't need you in the state of arizona it's like the desantis people saying we don't need trump supporters in the state of wisconsin that's what it sounds like AKA not a smart thing to say or not the best of things to say. So I think like, could she fix her image with some of these people? Maybe, but I, I think that the, after the 2022 elections with all the election contests and some of her statements about parts of the GOP, it, it does raise serious questions about, could she beat Gallego in a one-on-one? -on -one? Could she? I, <sighs> It's hard to say. And again, we're just going to assume cinema doesn't run because if you could beat Gallego without cinema, you're, you're fine. Masters, I think can. So I think Hamaday can Mark Lamb. I don't know. He's just not known enough right now. We just got to see, but Lake of the major candidates, I think she has the least likely chance. If this was a midterm, that's a bit different. 
for the simple fact that that this is a general and it's going to be a high turnout election. And if this was a low turnout election, run Lake. I agree if this was a very low turnout election for the simple fact Lake can get Trump voters out. Absolutely, I agree with that sentiment. But this isn't going to be a low turnout election. This is going to be arguing the highest in history. And I think somebody like Masters has a better shot of picking off some of those voters he lost in 22 just because of the fundraising stuff, which we talked a little bit about. But also, it just it wasn't that known. Plus, you did have bad turnout in Republican precincts and, all, and so, so forth. But anyways, folks, again, I support Masters personally. I don't know about Lake. You know, I... It's one of those where I just don't know. I really don't know. Can she win statewide? If this is a low turnout election, I think so, but it's a, it's a tough one. It is a real tough one. Could she theoretically fix her uh, imaging in the state of Arizona? Because I, I've seen some polling, and I don't know if it's 100% accurate, but there's definitely some data out there to show that some of the election contest stuff may have, may have, cause some image problems. But again, if Lake can prove me wrong, I wouldn't be against it. If she can prove me wrong that she's a strong, viable candidate that can beat Gallego just by himself, I I wouldn't be 100% against it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Godspeed to all of you.